So first you need to get a good pile of very dry birch bark. Collect it wet, then leave it somewhere to dry. Make up a container a bit like this. Um, notice it's all compression joints because it's going to get so hot that uh, solder joints would melt. Pack the tin absolutely full of birch bark and put the lid on tightly. Then you put the first tin inside a second larger tin that's going to act as a windbreak and a charcoal store and put this end underneath a little bit of water in the bottom of a second collecting jar. Uh, the waters are going to act as a condenser. It all is going to get very very hot. Then you put in some charcoal. Um, I found that uh, using a smaller amount of charcoal and gradually increasing it is better than putting in too much at a time otherwise it, gets far, it starts to boil off far too vigorously. As you can see the first smoke that comes out is sort of fairly pale and it's at this stage where you need to put the can underneath. Always use some sort of grips to put it under. At this stage it's not hot but it's going to get hot so it's probably a good idea to get into the habit of using grips rather than your hand and uh, gloves aren't a bad idea either. And you can see after a while you start to get that gentle bubbling and uh, inevitable smoke coming out the top but hopefully we're now going to start condensing the oils the and then light oils, and then hopefully heavier oils, and then eventually the tar. Don't know if you can hear that bubbling, but that's what it's supposed to do. Occasionally you'll see that you get a bit of leakage out of the top of the tin, especially if you've used it two or three times. So then just use a blob of clay to stop that from coming out. These are the colour of the fumes you get just before you've got nothing else coming out. Sort of a deep brownish and then it goes to nothing. So I think this must be the final bit. That After a while there's no more uh, gases coming out or very very few. That seems fairly quiet and you end up with some tar like that. The reason that's bubbling is because I've had it warming over the charcoal because you've now got to evaporate off all of the volatiles to get left with the tar. Probably not a good idea to do it over charcoal or any kind of uh, flame. Uh, best probably just left in the sun to evaporate on its own. And this is what the remains look like after it's been distilled. So you're just left with rather brittle charcoal and the distillate when it's been tarred down is quite thick gloopy. Um, uh, just needs a little bit more in turning it into the finished product. Happens to be in a black treacle tin um, similar sort of constituency at the moment.